coming to share with you my winter favorite. Remote.com and today I'm coming to share with you my winter favorites. I don't do um, favorites that often so I wanted to come and share with you some of the things that I've really been enjoying during this winter. Some things that's really been making it a little bit simpler for me in my life. These items I have had for quite some time but you know how sometimes you may stop using some items you don't use them that much until there are some times that you really need that item and you realize this is really good for me right now at this First time. thing I wanted to share with you are some cooking items that I've been using in the kitchen you know I really enjoy cooking for my family I enjoy trying out new recipes and just being creative in the kitchen so a lot of the things that I will probably share with you doing my favorites will be a lot of the things I use in the kitchen. The first thing I'm going to share with you is the our George Foreman grill. We've had our George Foreman grill maybe four years or so. We have we've had it for a while. I used it when we first bought it, and then you know I stopped using it. But as of late, the past couple months, I've been using it a lot to toast my husband's sandwich chicken tenders so I can make me a Caesar salad. It makes it so much simpler to throw some chicken tenders in there, cook up within a few minutes, a really nice tasty Caesar salad. So this is the George Foreman grill we have. One of my concerns that I had when we first got this George Foreman grill is it doesn't have an on or off, on and off switch. So I have I didn't know at first that I should wait until this go off before I pull the cord out. And when I would pull the cord out and this was still on, I would get sparks on my, you know, electrical outlet. So what I started doing was waiting until it went all the way off and then I will remove it from the electric outlet and I don't get a spark. This has been really helpful when I make my husband's sandwiches for lunch. That's one of my first winter favorites. My next winter favorite has been our crock pot. Now, I have two crock pots. This one here is a Hamilton Beach. I recently got this one about two, three months ago. And this one here has the lid that locks so you can take it on the go with you. However, you can't take the this out and lock it. It has to still be inside here in order to lock it. So I've been using this one a lot because, I, like I said, I have two crock pots and I stack them in my cabinet. So this is the one that's on top. So it's not that I have preferential treatment one over the other. My other one is a cook's crock pot. And I can't tell the difference. There's nothing that I can see that one cooks better than the other or anything like that. I haven't noticed any of that. I've been doing a lot of crock pot dishes. Days that I want... A really nice hearty meal however I don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen I'll pull out the crock pot I out new recipes for you know our family yeah. so like I say when I want something that's really good we're gonna enjoy our meal but I don't want to spend time in the kitchen if I have to run and go and do things if you have any kids in winter sports the crock pot is awesome because you can put something on before you leave out for a game or an event and when you come home you all have dinner ready now there are some meals that I just don't like in a crock pot I'm not fun fond of like um, whole chickens in a crock pot some things that unless I'm going to use it like to make some um, chicken salad or something like that there are some things I don't like to cook that long but however there are a lot of things that I love in a crock pot like my oxtail I love to cook in my crock pot the next kitchen item now, I re recently received this from one, from one of my clients, and this is an electric knife, and I have never had an electric knife. Me and her were talking about, um, I'm like I say, you see I'm um, by my husband, that large t turkey breast for his lunch, and I can slice so thin with a knife, and she was asking me, did I have an electric knife? I said, no. She said, well, I have an extra one. So she gave me this, and... You take the blade for this one. This is a very a much older one. You take the blade and you put this little 
they lock in together like that and then you push the little orange button on the side slide that in there and they lock in and then I put the cord in so I've been using this and it has been a lifesaver really awesome quick I'm able to slice the meat very thin I can slice vegetables if I want I've, I've even been slicing bread so it has a very it has been very very helpful with making my husband's sandwiches and like I say he really loves the deli meat but now since I have the electric knife I can slice his meat much thinner it gives him the feeling that he is eating meat from the deli I told her I said oh thank you so much for the knife she said she hadn't used it in like 15 years so that was a blessing. And some other things I've been using a lot in the kitchen. One is this McCormick Gourmet Cedar Plank Salmon. And I picked this up from Costco maybe two to three months ago. I can't really recall. But as you see, I have been using it a lot. It is so good on salmon. Hands down, it is so good. I use this on my salmon. Seasoned it real thoroughly. Now don't use too much because I have experienced using too much and it's over seasoned. But season my salmon with this. Put it on my George Foreman grill. It was so delicious. Now I have also been using this on chicken, tilapia. Uh, what else have I used this on? Shrimp. I mean just pretty much everything. But this is really good. So my next Costco visit, I will need some more. McCormick Cedar Plank Salad. Another seasoning I've been using a lot are these here seasonings from Aldi. The Ranch and the Italian. Now I've always used these for, for like putting them on my meat, putting them in my meatloaf, putting it in my lasagna. I have not used this to make a dressing. Never. I have never used this to make a dressing. But I have been using these a lot lately when I don't want and when I don't feel like bringing out a whole diff, lot of different spices. I'll use these two and my food is very flavorful and tasty. So these are another of my favorites that I've been using a lot this winter. Especially with crock pot meals. It is awesome. Okay. Now another season I've been using and you see it's good to the last try, right? So my old base seasoning, I've been using this often. And you see I need a refill. Um, but like I said, I've been using this a lot on my fish and things like that. So this is another one of my favorites this season that I've been using a lot. And you can tell I've been using a lot. Now another of my favorites I have been using, my seasonings that we dehydrated from the garden. We dehydrated so many um, seasonings, basil, lemon thyme oregano i mean oh we were we had the dehydrator going like every day all day this past summer so i we have it on this little um turn style with all the different seasonings that we dehydrated and we pretty much ran out of room to dehydrate <laughs> we ran out of room so i was one day i was making i can't remember what dish it was i was making and i was like oh my gosh i have not been using my seasonings from the garden and I start, I think it was a soup or chili I made. And I took out my seasonings and see, it was so delicious. So I've been using a lot of my seasonings from the garden as well. I have not used that many seasonings that I already in my seasoning cabinet. I've been using these a lot. All the things that I've been using for the kitchen that I have are my feet. The heels of my feet get so dry in the winter. So my thought was this. I said, I have to make sure I go throughout the entire winter with nice, uncrusty feet. So what I've been using, first of all, I've been like taking a bath every night. It's been so relaxing for me. That's one of my favorites this winter. I've taken baths with candles. I've been enjoying it so much. I take a bath at night and a shower in the morning. But also the bath at night is good to soak your feet and, you know, get loosen up the dead skin. So what I got was a Puma Stone. Now my grandmother swears Puma Stone. She has always used a Puma Stone. So there is a method to her madness. She came over, um, they came over I think like last month and... Or was I over her? No, I was over her house. I went over her house and she didn't have any. I said, Grandma, your feet look so nice. Now, my grandmother is 84 years old and she will not have 
crusty feet. You hear me? She has beautiful feet. She keeps them polished. She, I mean, they look so nice. And one of the things that she has always used was a pumice stone. So after I take my bath, I use my pumice stone to scrub the heels of my feet. And it gets off all that dead skin. Now, this is my little caddy that I have in the bathroom of some of the um, bath and body work items. And this is the True Blue Spa. But the one that I want to talk about is this one here. Is the True Blue Spa Shea Butter All-Purpose Super Moisture Balm. Okay, so this is what I have been using for the heel of my feet. Now, I keep this in my nightstand, and every night after I take a bath, I go straight to my nightstand, and I put this on the heel of my feet. And as you see, it's like a thick, oily, and I put this on every night, and my heels have been doing so good this winter. So, like I say, with the combination of the Puma Stone and this here, it has been doing very well for my. When I find something that I like, I usually stick to it unless that thing stops. Those are my winter favorites that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below of some of the items that you are using this winter that have been very helpful to you or to you and your family. This is Nicole with HelpMomaRemote.com. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.